level. So I'm not just interested in what's happening in the physical body, but I'm very interested in what's happening in someone's emotional state, but also what's going on around them in their lives. Um, everything that you engage with or do impacts upon your body in some respect. It will either be nourishing to your body or, or abrasive to your body. Um, I often talk about the chakra model when I talk about this particular dynamic. If you imagine for a moment, if you're aware of this system, you've got seven different chakras or energy centers on the body, which all actually vibrate on a very subtle different frequency. And um, the most obvious way to discover this is if you listen to music, the way we dance, listen to certain music, and we feel it in one part of our spine, or the types of music we might feel in other areas of the spine, such as drum and bass, you might feel it lower down, and something more operatic, you'll experience in a different area of your body, uh, higher up your spine. So, in general, every part of the spine is slightly demarcated with a different vibration, and that's affected by what we engage with around us. So sometimes we engage with things which might particularly open up our throat, which will make us talk a lot. Sometimes we engage with things which open up our heart centre, where we tend to open and expand our spine. Our shoulders might come up and down, up, back and down, sorry. Um, and that works all the way down, so sometimes we're around people who we feel really comfortable with, or activities we feel really comfortable with, and we relax in our belly. So you've got these constant little adjustments that are going on all day, but the flip side of that as well is when we engage with situations that we don't like, or, or um, are abrasive to our chakras, we tend to shut down those parts of our body. So we're around situations we don't like, we start to shut across the chest. Um, if we're standing on territory or in places we don't like, we tend to tighten our legs, tighten our glutes, which cuts off the energy flow down to the base of the spine. When we're around situations which on a subtle level don't feel very nourishing to us, it tends to affect the upper centres of the body. So what I'm looking for as well as an acupuncturist is how is someone engaging with their world around them? Are they doing things which make them feel inspired? Are they doing things on a subtle level that are nourishing them? Are they in tune with their general life path and direction in life? Uh, which would associate to the upper centres of the body. Have they got people around them that can talk to, where they can express themselves, which would express from the throat. Have they got people around them where they feel relaxed and can open from the chest. Are they in situations where they feel they can apply their direction and assert themselves, which is associated with the solar plexus. And whether we're connecting with things which associate to our second chakra, which is associated with feeling at home, feeling centred, feeling grounded, feeling at ease. I often know it's personally, say for example, when I go and visit my mom, that my breath sinks into my belly because I feel so connected there and at ease there. And also again, uh, with our base chakra, we're looking at being in situations where we feel on the ground, we feel connected with the earth, we feel alive and we feel vibrant. And again, that's, yeah, that's uh, the flip side of that, is where we feel uncomfortable and tightened up down in that particular area of the body.